So today we say goodbye to the to the old place. That was the place right there. Eh? Where we were for three years and now it's, it's over. So now as you can see, that is the new place. Right there. The new Jerusalem city. As you can see on the drone shot, now today was the official day that we do Thanksgiving. We have entered today. It's amazing. So let me take you inside. transform to how our church will look like. As you know, as you can see inside here, this was supposed to be a hospital, but God was preparing it for the same church. I remember we have, to, we have to fully finish the whole amount of the building. We have only partially covered part of the money, which is like not even 10%. We still need up to around $260,000 for this place. So it's really huge and it gets dark inside there. It's got many, many corridors where we shall put, you know, many, many spaces, like many office spaces where we can put the TV, you know, the radio and all that stuff. So let's go back where it, it actually is on the back side of the place. As you can see, it's really big. It just been broken and for it to, you know, be made a church. You know that's gonna be work, it's gonna cost money. Yeah. So another small bit. So this takes you to the back where we come from, and that is the basically. Thank you for watching. Please sow your seed to the Holy Spirit. So your seed for cancer, for anything that you need. This is the God of Matthew 19. His power makes everything possible. This is why we are sowing. He gave his only son Jesus. He sowed a seed. That was the greatest example for whosoever will believe in him. Tap his anointing. He is only pleased by faith and faith is active. Faith is active. Faith is action. Faith is sowing. Faith is time. Thank you so much. Hello. Welcome back. See Tight Faith. My name is Brian and I just want to give you the update of what's really happening right now. I'm going to church right now. It's a Sunday. Today is Sunday. I think it's the last Sunday of the month. And it's a Thanksgiving Sunday at Fame International Church. But right now I present you the City Faith Project. When you watch the last video that I showed on Christmas Day, remember we are, we are running a campaign. We're looking for one person that the Holy Ghost is going to choose because He promised us as one person will purchase will so a seed that will purchase the building, that will fund the whole project, which is going up to 500 bitcoins. Because he showed us that this money is coming through crypto. So today I'm holding $250. I don't know if you, if you, if you can see that. I'm gonna top up here, $100, make it $350. I'm taking a seed to guy. This is a seed of personal issue. So I will not be sharing with you. The reason why I'm sowing the seed, like last time I shared with you in this video, I was sowing the seed of 300 to allocate my driving license. Um, yeah, not because I can't find the driving license, my government can get the driving license, but because here it's a bit complicated, and I want the best dealer to go there before I go there, and that's the, and that's the Holy Spirit. Okay, and still, my whole life I've been sowing. And I'm still gonna sow for the bigger things that I need, okay? When I wanted the, the space for my first business, I gave a seed of only $100. Only $100. God gave me a space which is close to two universities and close to the main road. So I was only asking God to get me a space which could get me like 20 people in one day. God got me a place which would get me like 100 people in one day. So that's how God works. So I got the space and now I'll be sowing I'll be sowing money this whole February towards the building. Remember, I'm not just giving money to the church for the building. I'm doing God's work because the money at the church is needed for the building. But actually, I'm also, I'm also fulfilling my requests. Remember, for example, I'm gonna sow a seat of a thousand five hundred dollars. I'll be asking God to allocate me five spaces of 
where I'm gonna put five more gyms here in my place, Kampala, Uganda. Okay? And out out will guy, just find me the best deal, just find me the best place around. This is how the world is gonna be. If you have the spirit of God, if you believe in God, if you believe in the God of Matthew 19, 26, that his power makes everything possible, you sow a seed against cancer that you have right now, against a bad relationship, against any business idea. Solomon gave God to and he got wisdom, he got knowledge. He asked God, God told him what you need. Solomon said, I just need wisdom. Okay, so you can get anything. But reason why a seed is, in, is, is major in a Christian's life or anybody's life is simple. God himself offered a seed. When Christ came from heaven and he came here to, to, to die for our sins, it was a sacrifice from God. For God, loves, for God loved the world so much, he gave his only begotten son. So that was a sacrifice. So that was exemplary to us. That now for us to believe God, we must go with faith. And faith is action. Faith is act. Faith is active. Our God was active. He offered active faith when He offered His only Son for us to believe in Him, for us to be saved. So faith is active. So that's why we offer a seed, a seed of faith to get whatever you want, what you want to get. In the Old Testament, it was crazy. People would lose a donkey in the Old Testament. Okay, I think I'll put the verse here. They would lose a donkey, and they have to fast over pieces of silver pieces of silver and gold to the prophet for them to tap from him i think that's the, the anointing of god and to get to, to go look and get the dog so that's how it works today i'm taking a seal of, of, of two of 350 i'll be buying more at the forex bureau reason why i saw i saw in dollars is because i get paid in dollars so i want to tap dollars yes if you saw millions you get you getting you, you you're getting millions. If you're sowing billions, you're getting billions. That's just how it works. Scripture is very clear. So take take me with me. I'm gonna take you to the new place where they are working right now from. Uh, just to tell you a little bit of what's happening. So on Jan 5th, we made the payment. We made the partial payment, and this right here, the pastor was giving me a message because you know if you look at the recent video that I showed, this video, we were given a deadline at the old place. That we were supposed to leave the place by Jan first. Now we didn't meet we, we the deadline. It was kind of tight. The money wasn't available to go to the other side because the new side they were asking for a deposit of at least close to ten thousand dollars for us to enter and begin using the place before we can pay two hundred and seventy thousand dollars for the whole building. So Jan fifth, our pastor <clears throat> uh, combining everything, the church and the people that have been offering. We raised some money and we made the payment on Jan 5th and then we were allowed to enter the building. Now this video right here is Jan 18 when people were shifting all their things from the old place. This was crazy. People of the village gathered around, the, the mayor, everyone was really surprised how a small church that began three years ago is now going to the other big building. When you look at this video really, it just looks like how the, ch the children of Israel left Egypt and God promised them the whole land of Canaan. You know, it was crazy because they were slaves, they were these, these people that didn't have a profile, but they were going to take over Israel. They were going to take over a land. They were going to own Canaan. And this is what was happening here. People in this video are moving things, everything at the old place. Really, is unbelievable and they're taking you to a new place. So right now, I'm going to take you to, to, to a new place, okay? Where they're praying from? They're praying from outside because the agreement of the payment we did was to allow us be in the premises of the building. But since we haven't paid the entire sum of the, for the building, we can be praying from outside. So that is which is fair enough, which is which is which is fair enough taking us to the promised land because once we step in the promised land, we are stepping in the new anointing. This is why I'm giving this seed. We are stepping in the new anointing. This is why. This is why the children of Israel, it was so major for them to cross the Red Sea. Alright, I just reached right now and um, I just came to, you know, we have the new banner now, which is now showing the building and all that. I think it's good. So as you can see, um, the building where I'm gonna take you right now. So this is the new banner that is there for the public to see what's happening. As you can see, 
sitaisfaith.org our email sitaisfaith at gmail.com and the whatsapp number is for our pastor that is Julia so I'm gonna go at the church right now guys and I'll show you what's 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 up alright guys as you can see this is the place this pastor's car is here the building, so every, everything is now taking place right here and as you can hear the preaching as well so I'm gonna go inside there The Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Amen. I come before you today. There's just one thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank song of praise with an outstretched arm I will bless your name and thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord thank you darkness and gave me your light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You took my sin and my shame. You took my sickness and healed all my pain. 